Hi, I am Teacher Daisy. Now, let's learn Form 3 Chapter 9 Straight Lines. In this chapter, you will learn 9.1 Straight Lines. Nine point one straight lines. Equation of a straight line Y equals MX plus C, where M is gradient and C is Y intercept. The graph of function Y equals H is a straight line parallel to X axis. The graph of function X equals H is a straight line parallel to Y axis. Example A. Determine the gradient and y-intercept of the straight line. 1. y equals 2x plus 9. Compare with the formula y equals mx plus c. m equals 2 and c equals 9. Therefore, gradient, m equals 2, and y-intercept, c equals 9. 2. 3y equals negative 2x plus 12. In order to compare with the formula, y equals mx plus c, we need to divide 3y by 3, since left hand side divide by 3, right hand side also need to divide by 3 to make the equation correct. 3y over 3 equals negative 2x over 3, plus 12 over 3. y equals negative 2 over 3x, plus 4. m equals negative 2 over 3, and c equals 4. Therefore, gradient, m equals negative 2 over 3. And y-intercept, c equals 4. Straight line equation can also be written, in the form of ax plus by equals c. And x over a, plus y over b equals 1. Where a not equals 0, and b not equals 0 x over a plus y over b equals 1. a equals x intercept. b equals y intercept. 1. Change the equation of straight line in the form of ax plus by equals c, where x over a plus y over b equals 1, to the form of y equals mx plus c and vice versa. Example a. Change the equation of straight line below, to the form of x over a plus y over b equals 1. 2x plus 3y equals 12. In order to change the right hand side 12 to 1, we need to divide 12 by 12. Since right hand side divide by 12, left hand side also need to divide by 12, to make the equation correct. 2x over 12, plus 3y over 12 equals 12 over 12. Therefore, x over 6, plus y over 4 equals 1. Example b, change the equation of straight line below, to the form of ax plus by equals c. x over 6 plus y over 3 equals 1. Equate the denominator, 3x plus 6y over 18 equals 1. 3x plus 6y equals 1 times 18. 3x plus 6y equals 18. Simplify the equation. Divide left hand side and right hand side by 3. Therefore, x plus 2y equals 6. 2. Determine the relationship between the points on a straight line and equation of the line. Points on a straight line or points that the straight line passes through, will satisfy the equation of a straight line. Points that do not lie on a straight line, will not satisfy the equation. Example A. Determine whether point P lies on the given straight line. 1. Y equals 3x plus 2, P2, 8. Left, 8. Right. 3x plus 2, equals 3 2 plus 2 equals 8. Both left and right hand side are equals. Thus, P2, 8 lies on the straight line y equals 3x plus 2, 2, 3x minus 2y equals 12, P negative 4, 2. 
left 3x minus 2y equals 3 times negative 4 minus 2 times 2 equals negative 16. Right, 12, both left and right hand side are not equal. Thus, p negative 4, 2 does not lie on the straight line 3x minus 2y equals 12. Straight lines that have the same gradients are parallel. Example A. Determine whether the straight line, y equals 3x plus 5 is parallel to the straight line 6x minus 2y equals 9. y equals 3x plus 5. Gradient equals 3. 6x minus 2y equals 9. Rearrange the equation to the y equals mx plus c form. Negative 2y equals negative 6x plus 9. To get rid of the number in front of y, we need to divide negative 2. Since left hand side divide by negative 2, right hand side also need to divide by negative 2, to make the equation correct. Negative 2y over negative 2, equals negative 6x over negative 2, plus 9 over negative 2. y equals 3x minus 9 over 2. Gradient equals 3. The gradients of both straight lines are equal, thus y equals 3x plus 5 is parallel to 6x minus 2y equals 9. Example B. Determine whether the straight line, y equals 3x plus 8 is parallel to the straight line 6y equals 3x minus 9. y equals 3x plus 8. Gradient equals 3. 6y equals 3x minus 9. To get rid of the number in front of y, we need to divide 6. Since left hand side divide by 6, right hand side also needs to divide by 6, to make the equation correct. y equals half x minus 3 over 2. Gradient equals half, the gradients of both straight lines are not equal. Thus y equals 3x plus 8 is not parallel to 6y equals 3x minus 9. Determine the equation of a straight line. 1. Determine the value of gradient, m. 2. Determine a point which the straight line passes through, or a point which lies on the straight line. 3. Substitute the gradient m the x-coordinate and y-coordinate, from the point into the equation y equals mx plus c, to determine the value of c, that is, y-intercept. 4. Substitute the gradient value and y-intercept value, specified in the equation of the straight line, y equals mx plus c. Example A. Determine the equation of straight line with a gradient of half and passes through p6, 8. m equals half. Given p6, 8. Thus x equals 6, y equals 8. Substitute the values of m, x and y into y equals mx plus c to determine the value of c. 8 equals half times, 6, plus c. 8 equals 3 plus c c equals 8 minus 3 equals 5. Thus, equation of the straight line is y equals half x plus 5. Example b. Determine the equation of a straight line that passes through point p negative 1, 5, and point q 2, negative 7. m equals negative 7 minus 5, over 2 minus, negative 1 equals negative 12 over 2 plus 1, equals negative 12 over 3, equals negative 4. For point P negative 1, 5, X equals negative 1, Y equals 5. Substitute the value of M, X and Y into Y equals MX plus C, to determine the value of C. 5 equals negative 4 times negative 1 plus C. 5 equals 4 plus C c equals 1. Therefore, the equation of the straight line is y equals negative 4x plus 1. 
Example C, the diagram shows the straight line AB, with equation Y equals negative 2X plus 6. Determine the equation of a straight line, parallel to AB and passes through point P5, 4. The equation of the straight line AB is Y equals negative 2X plus 6, gradient is negative 2. The straight line which passes through point P is parallel to AB, thus the gradient M of that line is negative 2. Substitute the values of M, X and Y into Y equals MX plus C, to determine the value of C. 4 equals negative 2 times 5 plus C. 4 equals negative 10 plus C, C equals 14. Equation, Y equals negative 2X plus 14. Determine point of intersection of two straight lines. Methods 1, Graphical method. Drawing both straight line graphs, on the same Cartesian plane, and determine the point of intersection from the graph. Methods 2, Slaving simultaneous equations using, a, substitution method. b, elimination method. Two straight lines that are not parallel intersect at only one point. Example, determine the point of intersection of the straight lines, 2x plus y equals 5 and x plus 2y equals 1. Graphical method. 2x plus y equals 5. y equals negative 2x plus 5. x plus 2y equals 1. 2y equals negative x plus 1. y equals negative half x plus half. From the graph, it is found that, the point of intersection of the straight lines, 2x plus y equals 5, and x plus 2y equals 1 is, 3, negative 1. Substitute method. 2x plus y equals 5, equation 1. x plus 2y equals 1, equation 2. From equation 1, y equals 5 minus 2x, equation 3. Substitute y equals 5 minus 2x in equation 2. x plus 2 times 5 minus 2x equals 1. x plus 10 minus 4x equals 1 x minus 4x equals negative 9. negative 3x equals negative 9. x equals 3. Substitute x equals 3 in equation 3. y equals 5 minus 2 times 3. y equals 5 minus 6 equals negative 1. Thus, point of intersection 3, negative 1. Elimination method. 2x plus y equals 5, equation 1. x plus 2 years equals 1, equation 2. Equation 1 times 2, 4x plus 2y equals 10, equation 3. Minus equation 2. 3x equals 9. x equals 3. Substitute x equals 3 in equation 1. 2 times 3 plus y equals 5. 6 plus y equals 5. y equals negative 1. Thus, point of intersection is 3, negative 1. Lastly, the chapter 9 concept map is shown as below. This is the last chapter for Form 3 Mathematics Syllabus. Hope you guys enjoy the videos, and thanks for supporting me along the way. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel. And if you got any question can comment below.